Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this channel I talk about fragrance, skincare, fashion and the finer things in life and today I have seven fragrances in front of me right now. Why seven? What's going on? All right, here's a scoop. Six months ago I started this YouTube channel and accompanying this channel I started an Instagram account and there I made friends. So I asked my friends, just give me a name, a fragrance that you think I should try. Because I said, I'm gonna do a video, I'm gonna be testing out different fragrances, and I would be happy if you could help me. And they were very nice, they were kind, and they gave me certain names of fragrances that they think I should be trying. And therefore, at the end, I ended up having seven weekends in front of me right now. So, we are gonna be reviewing these seven different fragrances they are high quality fragrances. They are very different. There are potent fragrances. All in all, very nice, well-rounded selection of fragrances a line up in front of me right now. So if you are curious about this trial, go grab a drink if you're feeling thirsty. Go grab a snack if you're feeling hungry. Come meet me here and we are gonna start gossiping. Alright, so seven fragrances. My friends on YouTube and Instagram, they said that I should try. I was curious. So we're gonna be talking about uh, these fragrances in an alphabetical order. However, the first fragrance, I'm making an exception because that fragrance came from one of my friends on YouTube. Her name is Daria and uh, she is the queen of fragrances. She's like an encyclopedia and on top of it she's a smoke show. Her channel and her Instagram account will be down in the description box. Go check that one and if that's Turkish and if you don't understand her videos, please don't be scared. Still play them and down in the comment section say, hey come on, we watch Lifestyle by Gimel's video and I think you should do English videos as well. I'm sure she's gonna read them. All right, in one of her latest videos, she did uh, a selection of fragrances that she thought would be suitable for uh, summer, niche, summer, spring. And then in that list, I saw this Sergio Accento Overdose and I told her, you know what, I have to get a decant and I'm gonna include that Accento Overdose in this video. And she said, go for it, and I did. Oh my god. So, I'm running out of my decant here and let's spray this here on my hand. Wow, I think this is a great offering from Sergio that is perfect for spring and summer. White florals that I cannot tell which ones, really well blended. Fruity notes that I cannot tell which ones because they are really well blended. At the same time, the point the like uniqueness about this fragrance is that it is really well counterbalanced with the notes of pine and mint. That counterbalance creates a very almost like drooling effect, makes it so suitable for summer, and it just like that why it just lives on and on on your skin throughout the life of this fragrance which actually is very long this has an extremely uh nice strong lasting power it projects especially like you know first hour two hours really well projection and from then on it just like you know gets closer to your skin but it lasts the performance is really nice Fanarantica says that you know this has all the heights in the opening which I'm not getting but uh, don't quote me on that because recently I did a Chanel video like a week ago five days ago and you know when it's Chanel it's all the height bombs I think my nose is still paralyzed when it comes to all the heights so don't quote me on that maybe this has all the heights in the opening but the overall the juice a chance to overdose wow very nice spring summer niche offering I think anyone looking for a 
floral, fruity floral with kind of like fresh piney eucalyptus, but never overwhelming, never overbearing, kind of like a mixture of both. Go check this one out, Sergio Accento Overdose. All right, the next fragrance on my list is the famous one, Franck Boucle Cocaine. All right, so cocaine is a controversial one. Some like it a lot, some don't. To me, the opening is mothballs. I have to tell you that. Do I mind the opening? No, actually, I like it. It's cold, it's fresh, it's dusty, kind of like mothball smell. And as this fragrance evolves, it turns into a tropical tubero scent. Um, very creamy, actually. Not overly sweet. It's just like, you know, summery solar vibes. Very nice. So, some people think that this fragrance actually smells like uh, corn, tortilla. I don't get that. But what I get is that mothball effect from the tuberose with kind of like creaminess underneath. And also a really nice solar vibe, kind of like sun cream solar vibe. And there is also another point that I would like to mention. This has a, a so-called profound similarity to uh, Tom Ford Orchid Soleil. So when I worked at Sephora, I actually tried Orchid Soleil, but I cannot really put my nose on it right now. So I'm not going to be uh, uh, describing the similarity in a very certain manner, but please know that these two scents are said to be similar and kind of like interchangeable. So at this point, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I have this cocaine here. As you can see, the color of this juice is a little lighter. Again, uh, my friend Daria, where uh, we uh, discussed her choice, uh, Accento Overdose, that was, uh, she, uh, she said that, you know, her decant, her bottle, uh, had that juice almost like, you know, black, very dark. So there has been a reformulation when it comes to cocaine. And I don't want to buy the one that is like recently reformulated. It just makes me upset. But then I don't know if I should go for Orchid Soleil. Uh, there are still bottles around. So I don't know what to do. But I want something that is like solar, white floral, kind of like creamy. What do you think I should do? Let me know down in the comment section. But not a bad fragrance. Pont Bouclé. Cocaine extrait de parfum. All right, so the next on my list is a choice again from a friend on Instagram, and this is Gucci Intense Oud. Intense Oud. All right, so this is a famous one. Everyone talks about this. There are different batches. Everyone is after a certain batch code. I'm not in that race. I don't know what I have, but what I'm smelling is a woody fragrance that is pretty designerish and at the same time it has that kind of like woody woody freshness male fragrance vibe to it it smells very nice i think this is sexy as well and i think this is an oud fragrance that can be worn in warmer months i don't know maybe not I'm going to leave that up to you. The smell is so nice. There's also uh, undergoing sweetness in the smell as well. It just comes to my nose. Uh, if you are looking for a designer that is different than the mainstream designers, that smells quality, that is kind of smells expensive. And if you want that choice to come from Gucci, I think Gucci Intense Wood is a nice one. However, I think a better choice would be Initio Parfum Privé, Wood for Greatness. If you like this scent, I think you can upgrade yourself to Initio Parfum Privé, Wood for Greatness. And if you have Wood for Greatness, I don't think you need this. But, designer world, I want something masculine, sexy, woody, woody, and then also spicy and fresh. I think this is a very good choice. All right, coming right up is another oud fragrance that is actually a very well done. All right, so let me situate myself here and we're going to talk about Histoire de Parfum Fidelis. Wow, how come I did not know this? Whoa, well, you, we can never try all the fragrances, you know. 
That's why I'm always keeping an open mind and asking everyone, what should I try? Have you tried this? Have you tried that? What was your opinion? And this came, of a, came from a friend that I was not really expecting. She said that, honey, I like Histoire de Parfum Fidelis. You have to try that. Oh my God. A bombastic wood fragrance with gourmand vibes and fruitiness and also coffee. Kind of like coffee feeling to it as well. So I think this fragrance lives in the same neighborhood. I'm not saying that they are the same, just they come from the same neighborhood as Montal Antoine's Cafe, Roja Sweetie Out, and Roja Musk Out. So I have the feeling of uh, Antoine's Cafe's Gourmand vibe in here together with that Sweetie Out, kind of like buttery pastry effect together with a musk out chypre touches you know as this dries down the ultimate dry down on skin kind of like becomes a little mossy actually kind of like chypre like which i do like and which just caught me by surprise in a positive manner and the performance wow and giving the price I think this is an excellent buy. Forget about Frédéric Mai's very expensive oud fragrances like those Dan Night, Da Down, more than thousand dollars, packaged in Estée Lauder's kind of like gem bottles. I don't like Frédéric Mai's presentation. I've tried them. This has better performance, better longevity, and smells really, really nice. Is this completely unique? Oh my God, this is something they've never smelled before. Absolutely not. Is this something we can spend money on? For sure. If you're looking for an oud fragrance, if you want that oud fragrance to have gourmand white, if you want that oud fragrance to be a little like a mixture of Roja Sweetie Out, Musk Out, and if you want that fragrance to come from Histoire de Parfum, I think your choice, your address is easy to find. Fidelis. All right. So the next on my list, is another fragrance with a pastry accord, but a rose fragrance, and that is from Lancôme, and it's called Rose Barberanza. All right, so this smells like pistachios, this smells like Middle Eastern desserts, this smells like those desserts and everything combined with like a very uh, jammy, kind of like sticky, very, very delicious rose. The last time I smelled something like this, a pastry accord was in Germany. I was in Mannheim and then we stepped into a Turkish um, uh, pastry uh, bakery and that smell, you know, pistachio syrup and kind of like Middle Eastern sweets, that accord very well placed in here together with that really nice rose. This rose and this combination like kind of like sweet gourmand nutty but also rosy mixture in here oh so mouth-watering i think this is this is so mouth-watering this is delicious drooling and i think performance is not bad either discontinued or not i don't know i think rose fragrance lovers and if they like gourmand fragrances, and if you want something sweet with some nuttiness, some some edible rose actually, Lancôme Rose Barberanza. All right. So another gourmand fragrance is on my list right now, and that was suggested by a friend who is expert in gourmand fragrances actually so i was so happy to try her recommendation and that is actually manchera vanilla vanilla exclusive so mancera or manchera i don't know so i think manchera is the correct uh, pronunciation but for the sake of simplicity i'm just gonna say mancera today uh, mancera vanilla exclusive is a vanilla, fra vanilla fragrance that is fresh that is sweet that is kind of like what i called out of shower vanilla scent so there is definitely a fresh clean vibe going in this fragrance almost like a bathroom cleaner but not in a bad manner not in a bad 
light. It is just, you know, fresh. It feels clean. It feels invigorating. At the same time, there is that vanilla sweetness counterbalances that freshy vibe going on, creating a very long lasting, unique performance beast. Imagine you just clean your house, your uh, bathroom, and then you open up the windows and then there's like the freshness going on in the apartment or in the house. And at the same time, you're baking something with vanilla in it, almost like a vanilla molecule, not the authentic, I believe. That's that kind of vibes. Sweet, fresh, cozy, but never like, you know, overbearing, overwhelming. This is exactly what it is. Fragrantica says, you know, there are tons of notes. To be honest, I'm not picking them. All I'm picking is that out of shower vanilla scent. All right, the last fragrance comes from another dear friend of mine, and she's a traveler, and she has a, a huge interest in fragrances. And from my conversations with her, I picked out Memo Paris La Libella. All right, another tropical solar summer fragrance with nice longevity. So what is Lalibella? Lalibella has a coconut opening, sweet coconut, kind of like vanillic opening. But that opening is actually really well combined, blended with that floral background of the middle note. So when I smell this fragrance, okay, I smell coconut, kind of like a sun cream, vanilla vibe. And like, you know, a couple minutes later, I smell that. I'm like, am I smelling rose? So there is kind of like coconut -y, floral, vanillic vibe going on in this fragrance. However, in the ultimate dry down, I'm getting musk. I, I know. It's nowhere. It's not on Memo Pachy website. It's not on Fragrantica. But the ultimate, ultimate dry down, the skin scent of this scent to me reads the feminine musk. The scent is very long lasting. It has that tropical solar vibe going on i think this is pretty suitable for summer as well maybe i think this is suitable 24 7 365 but definitely summer vibe which is uh feminine i think dynamic long lasting creamy vanilla flower and then the ultimate dry down musk but hey i'm not a reference for that don't quote me on that because it says nowhere musk but i'm feeling it i'm the ultimate dry down on my skin feels musky but maybe it's just my skin pulling out the mask i don't know regardless memo paris la libella is a nice tropical floral with coconut vibes a little rosy performance is not bad actually you know i was skeptical about memo paris but i like la libella's performance six hours Definitely. First two hours, projecting two. You're going to definitely feel it. A nice choice as well. All right. Seven fragrances. We went through all of them. What do you think? What do you think I should try? Let me know down in the comment section. Here is a fragrance that you should try that I don't know. And then, you know, that you think that, you know, that's really interesting, funny, weird, or, you know, unique in a certain manner. I want to know your opinions. Let's keep the discussion going down in the comment section. Please feel free to comment down under my English videos because this is the bilingual channel. Each video, as you know, comes in two languages. One is in English and the other one is in Turkish and they are exactly the same. And you have just watched the English version. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for your viewership. I cannot wait to see you at the next one. Take care, everyone.